Hopefully I get into this lounge because we have left two and a half hours here in Chicago. Let's first talk about the location. After you clear security, there's this main hallway that leads down the terminal to some of the gates. There's a food court on the left and right across from that is the entrance to the lounge. It's pretty discreet. If you don't keep a lookout for the club sign right above the doorway, you might walk past it. Through the doorway and down the long narrow hallway, you're at the check-in desk. When I went, there was no wait for the lounge, maybe because it was midday, but if there is a wait for the lounge, you can join the wait list by using a QR code. To get complimentary access to the lounge, you can use Priority Pass, which comes with a lot of high-end credit cards, which I'll link down in the description. If you don't have Priority Pass, it'll cost you $50 to enter the lounge. In my opinion, it's not worth it paying $50, and you'll see why. You turn the corner from the check-in desk, and you're in the lounge, and this is facing the entrance of the lounge. And then turning the other direction, this is facing the back of the lounge. And that's pretty much the entire lounge. Needless to say, it's a pretty small lounge. Maybe the top five smallest lounges I've ever been to. As for the amenities, there are two restrooms in the back of the lounge, which always seem to have a line while I was there. As for the food and drink setup, there is one food buffet, and from this menu, it looks like they serve the same thing all day. Maybe it might be a little different for breakfast, so if you've been here for breakfast, comment below and let me know if they serve something different. These were the two hot food options, which was this sausage and peppers and rice, and this tofu vegetable stir fry, and there were some also cold salad options as well. As I was scooping this, it reminds me of a meal that a college student would typically make because it's pretty simple and very basic. Overall, as you would expect from some of these lounges, the food is basic and I think just barely passable. I sat in the back area of the lounge facing the huge windows for some natural light and some plane spotting, but the only planes you'll spot are likely Southwest planes, which are all 737s, which is not that exciting. Now, the second food area was this drink counter where they had water and coffee options. The espresso machine was broken when I was there, so I just ended up getting the drip coffee and there were also an assortment of cookies as well. I didn't get a drink at the bar today because I didn't have any cash on me to tip the bartender, but this is the wine list and then the beer list as well. There's a classic cocktail list, which has all the cocktail staples, and then there's a short list of signature cocktails. One shining aspect of the lounge is that the internet speeds are pretty good. Now, download speeds aren't great, but upload speeds are pretty insane. And this is even when I was connected to a VPN server in Los Angeles. So that's it. That's the entire lounge. Small, basic, but I guess it's better than nothing. Comment below and let me know what you think. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And thanks for watching this far. I'll see you guys in the next one.